now I want us to look at some more graphing because I mean that's what we're doing we're reviewing right so you guys remember graphing something like y equals 5 right yes. remember how we looked at this before and you know I said my weird little thing like the y's are the women the x's are the guys remember that it's going to come into play in a couple of days now y you do remember me saying this because you know Right here, notice in this equation there's no guy, right? Right. It's just a woman, it's a single woman. She doesn't need a guy in her life. She's she's totally fine with everything. <laughs> even <laughs> even though, you know, she goes clubbing. <laughs> and you know, all all the all the all the guys are, are hidden on her, things like, you know, girl, if you were a booger, I'd pick you first. <laughs> And she's like, no, thank you. I'm just going to be a five. And he says, uh, hey, I lost my phone number. Could I have yours? No, she's still going to be a five, right? Because see, it doesn't matter what X is because there's no X here. Y is just going to be five, right? And of course, my favorite girl, you, you must be tired. Because you've been running through my mind all day. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, this this is this is why she's single because. And by the way, guys, if you're using lines like that, oh, you too <laughs> will be single. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, when you plot these points, making sure you do plot correctly, you've got zero five, you've got three five, and negative seven five is somewhere over here. So you see, you do have a line. It is straight. Mm -hmm course it's straight because all lines are straight and I think what you meant to say is this is a horizontal line right everybody's happy with that super awesome you're not happy I can't tell with you you seem angry you know let me give you another example because I think I may have lost you with y equals 5 just being a horizontal line what if I have this I say that 2y is equal to negative 7. How would you graph that guy? Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, you have to solve, for y. solve for y, how do I do that? Uh. Divide both sides by 2, so y equals what? Mm -hmm. Negative 7 over 2. Negative 7 over 2, maybe we write that in a way that's a little more meaningful mm -hmm. to us when we start to graph though. How about as a mixed number, negative three and a half, right? 3.5, that work, works as well. So when I graph this, it's going to be just like this top one here. It's going to be a horizontal line, but in this case, it's going to be going through negative three and a half. So it's going to be this guy right here. What do you guys think? Is that awesome? You, can't, you can't even contain yourself, right? I, I can see it in your eyes. You're doing your very best to stay seated. That's good. That's good. Now, excuse me. <coughs> Thank you. What do we say about slope? We say that slope is a rise over run. Do you all agree? All right, so what is the slope for for these lines? Slope for a horizontal line. You know, look at this guy right here. If you go from this point to here, what's your rise? Um, five. What's your rise from here to here? Three. Zero, because you didn't go up or down, did you? But what was your run? Oh, three. What's zero divided by three? zero. If you have zero thirds, you have nothing, right? So the slope for a horizontal line is zero. Now, one of the things that we use to help ourselves remember this is this guy right here. 
this is not Spanish. Although we are talking about this stuff today. H stands for, no, it's not an, it's not an, you know, exclamation, oi! This H stands for horizontal lines. Horizontal lines have a slope of zero. And they're of the form y equals b. It's just a constant. And you look at the examples that we have here, and there is no x term. Okay. So this is what we can expect from horizontal lines. They have a slope of 0, and that's when you don't have any x. It's just y equals. 